지난 9월 UC 버클리 대학에서 승자독식 정치학의 저자이자 미국의 양극화 현상을 가장 명확하게 분석해낸 권위자로 유명한 폴 피어슨 정치학과 교수를 직접 만났습니다. If Korea, America, Great Britain is all having this problem, uh, some might say, is this a global trend? The economic inequality, is this a global trend now? How do you see that? Uh, the U.S. Is, is really uh, stands by itself in terms of how much inequality has grown. Uh, and the other thing that's striking in the U.S. is it's not just that inequality has grown, but it's really the very, very top of the income dis distribution that has taken off uh, away from everybody else in the society. So that's what we call uh, winner-take-all inequality. Very little of that has actually happened in other countries. I mean, a little bit has happened, but the U.S. is really unusual, which is why you, I think you have to think about more than the just globalization or even just economics to understand what's happened. Um, economic inequality, why is this issue coming up now? Occupy Wall Street, uh, which was, the I, I think, kind of the movement that sort of put the issue on our radar screen, um, uh, started in 2011. Uh, so, uh, so it's been six years uh, that this has been an issue in the United States. Uh, and I think the timing has a lot to do with the severity of the economic downturn. I mean, it's kind of like, well, why did an earthquake happen when it did? I mean, you have this pressure that's been building in the U.S. really for 40 years. The trickle-down effect in the 70s, until the 70s, that it was working, and then from the end of the 70s, it's not. Uh, what do you think was the problem? It has to do with the growing political power of the wealthy uh, and the corporations within American society, is that you get a kind of vicious cycle in which economic inequality shifts political resources towards those who are already economically advantaged, whether it's the wealthy individuals or powerful corporations. And then they use their increasing political power to shift the role of government in ways that further reinforce their advantages. Uh, could you give us some example what kind of things actually American government was trying to do that was more effective? You did get quite substantial legislation in the first two years uh, of the Obama administration. Most important was health care reform, but also significant reforms of um, fi the financial system, new financial regulations that came into play. Uh, you got an increase in the minimum wage. The window was only open for a couple of years. You said the window was just open a little to make it more wide open. It is difficult to produce these big important changes without a lot of political mobilization and a lot of political organization. Uh, I'm a big believer that it's not just voters who matter, um, but organizations. If the fourth uh, industrial revolution and if the gig economy happens and the workers would get more fragmented, then in that kind of setting, who's going to support the middle class people who's working? The rise of IT and new forms of employment make it a lot harder to form a union. I think there's a, there's a flip side of this. If you think now about Silicon Valley in the U.S., it's actually very hard for these companies to leave, right? um, because they want to be in these environment, these knowledge-intensive environments. Uh, so that's that's a potential opportunity. And in fact, you see, you know, you see some cities in the U.S. that are introducing pretty progressive policies in a lot of ways. They're introducing local minimum wages, which is a completely new thing in the United States. Uh, in the Future Korea report, when we talk about economic inequality, we see it as a power imbalance. Uh, what kind of advice do you think you could give to Korea? It really is about power. Um, and it's not inevitable. It's not something that has happened naturally. Uh, there are lots of countries in which the increase in inequality has been much, much more limited than it has been in the United States, or it sounds like, than it has, has been in Korea. Uh, and it's not that, and those countries are doing fine economically. So the challenge is to organize power politically to push back against these trends. Thank you. Okay, thank you.